Police deployed heavily today in and around Kampala to avert any chaotic scenes which were looming on the horizon ahead of Bobby Wine's return to the country. In Kamocha's suburb, supporters of the Chadondo East Member of Parliament seemed ready to give him a grand welcome. Now, uh, to avoid contradiction in such a uh, movement, Bobby Wine had to do what? Uh, had to, we had to respect his program and we indeed stayed at home to welcome him, which is Kamocha. That is the first home. And then and after Magere, where he does what? Yaman, yeah, Kakati, we are at Kamocha, uh, uh, we are humble, we have no violence. Uh, but deployment is too much. With news coming in that Bobby Wine was not going to have a stopover in Kamocha, we headed to his residence in Magere along Gayaza Road. Here, some rowdy youth allegedly belonging to the People Power Movement erected barricades in form of fire along the main road leading to the legislator's residence. They also started beating up all those who disagreed with their violent move. <laughs> It will take the intervention of military police together with the police for normalcy to return. At 3 p.m., signs of Bobby's imminent arrival became more evident. Locals blocked the route which police had earlier preferred to access his home. Upon sighting the legislator, the route was cleared and he was ushered into his home by the VVIP unit of the Uganda police. Top a police car, Bobby Wine addressed the gathering. He also later revealed to journalists that he was doing much better health-wise and promised to address the media on a date yet to be communicated. The legislator is battling prison charges with 33 others who were arrested following scaffolds in the Arua by election. He was granted bail together with his co-accused by the Gulu High Court after fronting the need to seek specialized treatment abroad. He returns to court on the 1st day of October 2018 for mention of his case. Samuel Sandono, UBC News. Thank <laughs> you.